Hello there, this is uh, Eugene Blanchard and this video is talking about uh, repairing a pressure washer wand. So this is the handle and the trigger that you use to get your pressure washer going. Now on mine this is an old one, it's not an expensive one. It started leaking at the, the handle here. I was right there, it was leaking, water was coming out. It was only when you released the trigger that it would le leak. If you pressed it then it worked perfectly fine. So. I thought, well, I'm going to take it apart and see uh, what I can do. There's uh, eight screws you have to take out. These were Phillips screws, so I, I took them out and uh, came out quite easily. And then you had to separate the uh, two parts. I used a screwdriver uh, to take them apart. Um, it was just a tight fit. It wasn't like jammed or anything. I just kind of worked my uh, uh, screwdriver around and it came apart. And this is what it looked like inside. Inside you have your trigger. You got a little spring here. You've got your intake hose. This is the valve that actually turns off and on the water. And then you have uh, the hose on the outside. When you take it apart, you end up with uh, sort of the valve here. It's got two. It's got two O-rings here for seals, and it's got another O-ring here. And this one is the actual valve part, right? So now I know that this works because uh, when I release the trigger, no water is going through. Right, so that means that that O-ring is good. Uh, these ones were leaking. Like I've already changed them once. I had some green ones from uh, it was a repair kit. I tried those and uh, they didn't work. I had to find another uh, set of O-rings. When you take it out, it looks like this. So basically, this is the one for sealing um, the high pressure. That one worked. These are the ones that uh, I'm changing with. What I used is I had a little dental pick. You can just sort of get it under there and take it out without damaging the O-rings. These O-rings here, I got out actually from uh, one of these kits that you get for, uh, you know, your kitchen sink faucets and bathroom faucets. They had some O-rings there, they, and they kind of matched the originals that were in there. Uh, one of the things I did is I made sure to have a little, I had a little glass jar here. Uh, that's where I put my screws in so I don't lose my screws, and you can see the screw heads are, are uh, Phillips. What you have to be careful of is that there's a little spring that's inside. This, this is the hose end, right? So that could pop out. You could lose it. So keep track of it. Uh, you put it all back together. I put the new O-rings in. Uh, one of the things you want to do is uh, uh, you put a white grease in there. I put a, you know, like an axle grease on to, to help. Now there's a little notch here that it fits in here. Uh, there's another notch here. And then on the uh, sort of the wand end, uh, they had a little notch here that you had to get all of this fitting. I found that I could get it all in. If I move this over, then it would fall out. So I kind of put it like that. Uh, when you connect up, this is sort of the strain relief. There's a little groove here. It sits right in here. With a little bit of fiddling, I got it all put together, snapped together. And then I put screws in and it worked. It sealed the problem. So thank you for watching.